back to Lima Bean Living. In today's video, I thought we would take care of some things around the kitchen. I just got back from Walmart with the kids and they are outside playing, so hopefully I can give you a relatively quiet haul. And then there's some drawers that just need to be kind of cleaned out and just things that need to be tidied up. We're gonna have to, I bought like a big thing of meat, so we're gonna have to like chop that all up and store that in the freezer. So there's a lot to get done and I hope you guys enjoy. So while the kids are outside, let me go ahead and show you guys this haul. Okay, so the one like non-food item that I got was some mouthwash. We kind of were running out, that said clearance. I really don't know how good of a deal this is, but I was in the clearance section and it was there and I knew that I had forgotten to get mouthwash in the store. So I was like, maybe this is a sign. So that's the one thing that's not food, but we ended up getting some strawberries. And I don't know about you guys, but like I always tip the box upside down, try to look for any mold. If you don't do that, you really should just to make sure you're getting, you know, what you're paying for and not wasting any. Got some bananas. I had ripped one off because I was... You know, I saw a homeless person outside before we pulled into the parking lot and I was like, well, you know, if I get things that are easy to break off, I can give them some snacks on our way out, but the man wasn't there anymore. So that's why that one's loose. Got some carrots and red cabbage because I really liked this Hello Fresh meal that we made. So it calls for this and a red pepper because it's gonna be like a teriyaki type bowl. I figured that would be a healthy insert into that meal. Two honey crisp apples because that was really like all that they had left. Got these guys on clearance. Obviously we all enjoyed one on our trip home. I thought they were okay, but the kids, you know, devoured them. So I think it was a win in their, in their mind at least. Got some more creamy peanut butter cheese balls the kids love, Juan loves, and I actually love saving the containers. I think they make for great like storage for toys because they have such a wide mouth and they're you know see-through. The only downside is the sticker doesn't come off as easily, but you could easily stick on something on top, like a chalkboard sticker or something and label your container that way. Got some pretzel sticks and Doritos specifically because we have some cream cheese that we need to use up. And when you mix cream cheese with this Hormel chili, which I got, it makes a delicious dip for these guys. So I figured we might have that in the next couple of days. I mentioned a huge thing of ground beef, 10 pounds. So we're gonna be chopping this up in one pound little increments and bagging that up in a bit. Aubrey already tried to open these things because they're little birdies and she's in love with birds and they were only like a little over a dollar. I was like, you know what? We'll go ahead and, and treat them to this later on. I had to take it away. Jack has been loving these little snacks throughout the day. Like he always drags me to the pantry and is like, caca, caca. So he really loves crackers. And I picked up some more of these crackers because I plan on making some more toffee for a friend of mine. Had to get some more white cheddar because I this is what I use to make my grilled cheese. Um, that's like a Starbucks dupe and it is seriously delicious. So needed to stock up on that. Got some more milk for me and the kids. We recently used up some of our previous cans of condensed tomato soup. They, I have like a really good recipe called a beef taco skillet. I shared it like in my first year, I want to say on YouTube. So I'll make sure to link that video. It's a delicious recipe, one of my favorites. Like I said, got the Hormel chili, got some sliced peaches because the kids love the peaches. This is one of our favorite flavors of pasta sauce from Walmart. It's the tomato basil garlic. I like putting it on like our homemade pizzas. Got some chicken noodle soup because I've been making tons of sourdough. I've even made sourdough bread bowls. So I figured it would be easy if I, you know, do all the work making the bread bowls and make it easy on myself by getting pre-made soup to pour in it. And finally, some soda for Juan and I. So while it is still a little bit quiet in here and the kids are still playing outside, I'm going to go ahead and put a lot of this away. Not sure if I'll get to the meat yet, so that might just go in the fridge. I really want to make sure that like Jack's probably taking a nap or something because my hands will, I'll, wear, I'll be wearing gloves, but I don't want to have to keep taking off gloves to deal with him or anything like that. So that's a task that I want to isolate for when I will be, you know, not necessarily on call for an emergency, the Jack-induced emergency. And I also can't devote tons of time to that right now because my sourdough starter is 
gonna be peaking soon. It is at least doubled and I'm gonna have to start assembling my dough for that. So I really have to just make this a quick little restock in my pantry and then we'll move on to that task. Let's take it slow, where you go, I go to. And if you hit the bottom, I'm going down with you. Let's take it slow, who cares where we gotta be? You know you'll have a good time wherever you're with me. Let's take it The food has been put away, the dough has been assembled. That obviously entails a lot more. If you guys are interested in learning how I make sourdough, I did uh, show you guys in my previous video. So if you're new here, make sure you guys go ahead and check that out. But it is 12 o'clock now. I gotta get the kids fed and then jack down for a nap. So I'm gonna go ahead and take care of that. And I will come back when it is nap time and we will get some of those other tasks that I mentioned done. Hey guys, it's been a while since I checked in. I finally got Jack down for a nap. He has been really fighting like nap time, like just going to his room to get ready for the process of nap time has been a big struggle. But once I get him to like finally just give up and say like, okay, I guess it is nap time. He gets all cozy, I still sing to him, and then he falls asleep and he naps for a few hours. Or at least is in his room, like after he naps for at least an hour, hour and a half, he'll then play in his room and it's, it's great. So I know that he needs his sleep, but he is just really fighting nap time. So that's just been a struggle, but that is thankfully done. And I just got done working on homework with Aubrey. So we were a couple days behind. We just kind of, it was just too busy. Like we had too much going on in the previous couple days. So we didn't do some homework those days, which is the benefit of homeschool because we just got caught up and even worked a little bit into tomorrow. So we did that. She is outside taking care of the chickens, letting them free range and protecting them from hawks. <laughs> But now what I'm gonna do is package up the meat. And um, I thought maybe like I'll go ahead and use some of the meat while it is defrosted because I'm gonna be freezing the rest. I'll show you guys the meal that I'm making that I kind of am kind of tweaking the recipe from the HelloFresh. There's one ingredient that I haven't been able to get a hold of. I think it's on Amazon, but I just haven't splurged enough 
to go ahead and purchase it. I just kind of made a modification. So let's pack up this meat and then it's three o'clock right now. I'm still working on my sourdough. I'll probably start at least like prepping the ingredients for dinner and then we'll make dinner shortly after. I mean, at this point, I just kind of make dinner when I can and then we'll just have like a late night snack or evening snack if we're still hungry. I'm really horrible with like a set dinner time and like dinner schedule, especially when I'm like dealing with something like cooking on the stove or where there's like an open flame. I don't want the kids to come over and like put their little hands on the stove top. So if I don't want to resort to screen time to have like a set dinner schedule, I just kind of make it when I can. I don't know if any of you guys can relate or if you have any tips for me, you can drop them down below in the comments. But before Jack wakes up, let me get to work.
So on this evening, I was planning on kind of trying to replicate this meal from HelloFresh. I don't typically buy ground pork, although I thought it tasted delicious. But, you know, since I just bought like a whole bunch of ground beef, I thought I would go ahead and substitute that in for this recipe. And the two ingredients for this recipe that I also didn't have were the crispy fried onions as well as the sweet soy glaze. That sweet soy glaze, like I've looked in our grocery stores and just can't find it. I have seen it on Amazon and I just haven't like decided to finally purchase it because I do have a different sauce that feels a little similar. It's hoisin sauce and it's also a sauce commonly used in other Asian recipes. So I just kind of figured I'll use what I have until it runs out and then I may just purchase the sweet soy glaze, you know, at that time. But we're going to start by assembling our sauce by mixing some sweet Thai chili sauce with ponzu sauce, the hoisin sauce in replacement of our sweet soy glaze, as well as some rice vinegar and sugar. We're going to mix this all together and add it in after our meat has been cooked and let that like thicken up a bit and we'll see that in a bit. So here I'm just taking some jasmine rice, some water, and some salt and cooking that in a pot over like medium heat until it starts to simmer or boil. Then we're going to reduce the heat to low, put on the lid, and let it finish cooking. This recipe also calls for scallions, which I did not have to purchase because I've actually grown even more scallions from the ones that I got when we did have HelloFresh. What I ended up doing was just keeping the ends with the little roots and putting them in a little bit of water and letting them just continue to grow. I've even planted one in some dirt, as you guys can see, and they just continued to grow and you know, make even more scallions for me to enjoy. So if you don't do this already, you might as well, you know, get your money's worth and grow some more so you don't have to purchase even more scallions from the store. So I'm just adding some oil to a pan and cooking like the white parts of the scallions just for a little bit until they become fragrant and adding my meat, seasoning it with garlic powder, salt, and pepper and cooking this down until the meat is fully cooked and I will then be draining off the fat and adding in that sauce that I, you know, mixed up earlier on. After the sauce is cooked with the meat, just for like a minute or two, then we're gonna add in our veggies. Here, I realized I'm adding in like a whole bunch of veggies. I prepared probably too much for this recipe, but that just means that each serving will have even more veggies than I had planned, which is totally fine. And we're gonna cook that for just a couple minutes until the veggies kind of get a little bit more soft and cooked down. After that, we're gonna fluff our cooked rice and add a little bit of butter and then top the rice with our veggie meat mixture. Okay guys, sorry for the poor lighting. Dinner was delicious. Aubrey had even a bowl. I think Jack had some rice, although he would probably be more inclined to like eat the whole bowl than Aubrey would. So we'll see what else, you know, Juan will probably feed him some more. I'm obviously out of the house. Um, I rushed to kind of try to quickly clean up and uh, shape the sourdough loaves. So those are in the fridge now and I'll bake them tomorrow morning. And then we had to hurry out of the house. I'm out of like breath because we were hurrying so much. We had to go up some stairs. I uh, brought Aubrey to her catechism class. So she's up there and I'm gonna actually just stay in the car for an hour while her class goes on. It used to be an hour and a half. Now it's just an hour. But uh, what I typically do during the hour that I wait is I try to edit videos for you guys. So. Hopefully I will make big progress because the video I am editing right now is going to be the video I need to post tomorrow, Friday. It's a Thursday when I'm filming, so 
<sighs> I just hope that I edit it quickly. This is one reason why I foresee taking a one or two month break in the future is just a lot of the times I feel like most of my free time or even into my sleep time, I am editing videos and it's just, it's a little draining for me right now, especially since I'm not in the best shape that or the shape that I wanna be in. And I really should be dedicating my extra time to getting healthier. So, you know, if I wasn't editing videos, I could be going on a walk for an hour and getting an hour's worth of exercise around the neighborhood while I wait for Aubrey. So, you know, that's just, we're gonna, we're gonna, we're definitely gonna take a break in the coming months. So I hope you guys stick around during that, but I gotta get to work and I will check in with whatever else I get done this evening. Well guys, editing that video took a lot longer than I anticipated. I had every intention of cleaning my kitchen and living space before going to bed, but I figured that was something I could do the following morning instead of sacrificing even more sleep. So if you watched my what my kitchen looks like throughout the day video, just know that I don't always wake up to a spotless kitchen. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, go ahead and hit that thumbs up button, and if you are new, I'd love to have you stick around and subscribe and I will catch you in the next one. Woohoo! You've made it to the end of the video. If you didn't know already, every Monday and Friday you can find motherhood and lifestyle content on this channel. And since us moms have to do it all, that may mean yummy recipes, easy DIYs, mom hacks, cleaning and organization, or just a combo of everything. Please know that you are loved and you are made for greatness, and I will catch you in the next one.